The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, welcome to Happy Thursday, followed by Happy Friday. My little three-year-old grandson, that's how he wakes up every day. Happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday. Okay, boys and girls, let's get to it. We got some major stuff happening. I posted the DAX in here on the 15-minute just to show you that we've had another ABCD completion on this one, and we're very, very close to that weekly ABCD in the DAX, too. It's with just, I think it's about 50 points on something. It's trading around 12,000, so it's, uh, it's really, really close. Uh, there's a couple of markets that uh, are really, uh, really setting at major fib points, folks. Let's just take a quick look at the first one, which is uh, this is the crude oil market. We were watching this from the short side. As you can see, uh, we made our profit uh, objective down here at the 4680. That's the 1.618 expansion of that butterfly pattern. And uh, it's it's really going to be interesting if it holds this level. So far, I think we're trading right at it, but whether it'll stay there or not, you know, I'm not really sure, but no one else is either. But here is a spot. If it's going to have any chance of turning, this would be the place for it to do it around this 4680, 4650 area. You know, crude oil has a margin of around $4,000. So you can actually, you know, trade it with a 40 pip stop on this stuff. If you go down to a 30 minute chart, so you don't have to risk, you know, basically an arm and a leg. So those are some of the things that you're thinking about when you're you know you're trading these it's not how much money you you make folks it's how much money you don't lose you have to you've got to remember that you can kiss a lot of frogs before you find a princess but believe me it's better to do it that way than to uh, just you know not to kiss any frogs all right let's get back to the real world here we got to talk about the silver market silver is setting right on the proverbial moment of truth let's just put this up here and you'll see it here. Uh, what that's is, this is where we were yesterday. Let's just show you because we were looking for the market to come down again, and we're very very close to that uh, number in gold near that 12, um, you know, 25 level that we talked about. We got down to 1227, you know, so far today. And if you'll notice today here in silver, I posted this earlier this morning, but we did get down and we're within about two cents of the exact uh, Fibonacci level at uh, 16. Uh, 34. We've been down to 1637 in the um, in the silver, so we're very very close uh, to that level also. But the one that I really think that we have to pay really close attention to, folks, is uh, this one right here. I just want to bring this up here to show you. This is the gold market, and uh, this is uh, you know we're over we're over Mercury Direct today, folks. This is a big thing. Uh, so we have to pay attention to that. If you'll notice, uh, you'll notice the gold chart that we have here. You'll notice those red lines. Those are those ABCD lines. And all I did with the uh, ABCD line on the second one was to clone it, to move it over to show you where you are. But where we're setting at, if you'll notice that 127 in there, that comes in at the 1229 level. The low's been 1227.70. So that's a 61% retracement of the low we made in March, on March 13th. And uh, so if it's gonna has any chance at all, uh, this is uh, where it's going to be. And not only that, but we have an equal move now between February and March and where we were between April and May. Those moves were, you know, pretty much spot on. So, uh, you know, this is if you want to, you know, it's much better to buy gold at the 1220 something level than it is at 1275. That's the way uh, my grandma used to teach me when she used to set me in my high chair and say, OK, it's time for your oatmeal. Remember, don't ever trade coffee, cocoa. Or orange juice. Okay, let's forget on. Someone's asked a question, folks, uh, about um, what was one of my um, aha moments about uh, you know when I really started to to understand um, 
you know what was happening in the markets and I believe me I don't understand as much as I'd like to there's other people but back in 1988 I met Bryce Gilmore in Chicago uh, one of my students grabbed me in the hallway we were at the money show and they say hey you got to come in to listen to this guy he's using all of your numbers and so I walked into the back of the room. There are about 200 people there. I had never met Bryce Gilmore before, but he had seen me. And so he, he called out to me and he said, hey, there's Larry Pesaveno. Why don't you come up here to the front of the room and you'll learn something. And so, you know, I took that as a challenge. So I went up and I sat in the front row. And after 10 minutes, I, I literally was blown away. I mean, I had seen stuff that I had just not, I, I'd heard about and thought about, but I never really did anything. He had a program called Wave Trader that basically went in and measured all the swings uh, in time and price, and he had all the ratios there. This is basically what we have in Ensign now, you know, with the Pesavento pattern. It's not nearly as good as what Bryce had because Bryce had him uh, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. And when you had 10, that meant that there were just a lot of things happening at that point. And that was where you were ready to, you know, make your decision on whether you wanted to be a buyer or seller. And, and those worked very well. What was interesting about those things on 10 is the fact that you were looking at something that if it didn't work, it flat out was, uh, you know, it's going to go the other way. In other words, if a 10 stayed there for three or four days, it was going on to, you know, something, uh, you know, a lot better. So we'll watch some of these things here. Excuse me here. Oh, we're just, uh, we're making a new low in silver, folks. Pay real close attention here in the silver because we're within uh, two or three cents of the exact low. Hold on here. That We're looking at 13.33 is the potential low in silver. Right now we are trading at uh, 13.37. The low has been uh, 1337. Uh, that's where we are now. So we need a couple more cents and keep an eye on that because that could be a really interesting spot in silver because it's it's uh, it's actually holding up much better than gold. You know, gold's down two grand, silver's only down 750 bucks. So, you know, that's quite a bit. It's hard to believe that we've got gold down to this level, but we, we, we've been saying for quite some time that the gold has been in a very, very bearish mood, and uh, it's certainly doing that uh, right now. Now, whether that'll continue for the rest of the day, you know, we'll have to wait and see, but that's what we're that's what we're following today. Okay, move on to the next one. We're going back to the Bryce Gilmore. Uh, anyway, after that weekend, I invited him to come to Pismo Beach to stay at the trading house, and I thought he would take me up on it someday in the future. Well, he took me he took it up for Monday, and he stayed with me for two months uh, the first time, and every year thereafter, from '88 through '94, he was there at least three months a year. And uh, it was always a lot of fun being around him. He he did a just was an incredible analyst as far as uh, the way he looked at the markets from a geometric perspective. And boy, he really knew the numbers of sacred geometry and the stuff. He studied GAN and astrology and a whole bunch of stuff. He's incredibly bright. He wasn't the greatest trader in the world because he had a, you know, he had a tendency for let his opinions get away. And he wouldn't change his opinion as nearly as much as he would probably like to. Hold on one second, folks. I have to turn the beeper off here or I'm going to be here the rest of the evening. And I don't want to do that. Hold on in the morning. Let's turn this off. Okay, there we go. It, okay, take a break here. Uh -huh. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we just hit the 78% retracement in silver at 1634 on the July silver. Uh, the low so far has been 1633. I don't know if that's going to be the low, but we did hit that number that we posted here uh, in the room. And as I mentioned before, it is much better to buy the silver at 1634 than it is at 1720 or 1820. So I don't know if that's going to uh, hold or not, but uh, it's got a chance. That's all I can say. All right, let's move on to a couple of other things that are yesterday when we were on the air, we were talking about the, uh, the live cattle market. As you remember, we were talking about what could possibly happen, you know, in, given the fact that we had a market that was uh, basically going straight up we were looking at august cattle as you recall and we were talking about the fact that the had the open interest was dropping in june cattle and um, if you'll notice here we had that big shooting star pattern right here but with the june contract being limit up and you can see the big difference between june and august august closed near the low end of the day whereas June closed limit up because that's where they're, the people are trapped in the silver, in, excuse me, in cattle. And you'll notice what happened the very next day. And this is why you have to wait a day or two when you have these really strong trending markets. You'll see that eventually what happened was the August cattle, instead of opening lower, if it was really bearish, opened unchanged. And they also went limit up. And it uh, got up to the 12380 level. What's going on in cattle from our good friend Rich Anderson from Anderson Capital Management is that cattle, uh, cash cattle, have started to move very, very uh, quickly to the upside. And um, that has caused the futures to try to catch up to it. And that's what has caused this big move. Now, yesterday, with the limit up move again in June cattle, we also had another drop in open interest. Folks, I know I don't know how high they're going to go here, but they're going to come down just as fast as they went up.
because you're losing people in the market. And as soon as the, the last shorts have covered, there's going to be very few buyers in there. And that's going to cause a, you know, big, uh, big move uh, to the downside. So that's what I would be watching this morning if you're keeping an eye uh, on the cattle market. The main reason I even bring it up is I know there's several people in the uh, Tiger Den here that have been long the cattle and have done very, very well. And they've, you know, emailed me and asked me how to handle limit up moves because we haven't seen them for so long. And I basically, you know, said, you know, just put your stop you know, keep raising it by 150 or 200 points every day. And when it finally turns, uh, you'll be out of it with a good profit and you'll get to enjoy the, the fruits of, uh, of the labor of going into it. Because I certainly didn't make any recommendations, you know, to be buying cattle. But uh, this is how they'll end. We'll follow this, you know, day by day just from historical purposes because, you know, you're really helping to look at the open interest is really very important, especially when you're in explosive moves that are, you know, going to the, uh, you know, going crazy to the upside. So we'll watch this uh, closely like we do uh, everything else here uh, at TFNN, and we'll keep a very close eye on it. We wanted to thank our good friend, uh, Norm Winsky for being on yesterday. He had some really good indications, you know, that we we're going to have some pretty exciting things happening today. We do have mercury going direct. And the reason why that is important, folks, if you'll read Dr. Andrew Lowe's book, uh, the Evolution of Technical Analysis. He spends the first 50 pages in that book talking about the very first chartists and technicians, which were the Sumerians and the Babylonians. And, and in fact, on their clay tablets, they have, uh, you know, the wheat, a uh, uh, picture of wheat along with the uh, moon and mercury on how to uh, pick out when to be a buyer or seller in uh, wheat and, uh, and and other things, of course, but it was mainly mainly mercury was one of the main things. Remember, remember mercury is the inner planet, folks. That moves every 88 days, so it moves quite a bit, and it gives you a really good trading opportunities. The fellow that did a lot of great work on mercury was George Bear. Uh, he was in uh, Carmel, California, and he worked on the speed of mercury. And Jim Twentyman still does that. Uh, work with the speed of mercury uh, to this day so those are the ones that we that we keep an eye on as we're, we're as we're coming through here okay now the next question that someone asked me was uh, uh, how, how close of a stop would you use on silver folks you're, you're the one that has to decide how much money you're going to risk I would say at this level 10 cents would probably do it uh, in the silver I you know gold's a little more a little more crazy because it has a lot more volatility than the silver, but uh, you know, silver can move very, very quickly. But you know, it's coming down a penny at a time. It's not like if it's collapsing in gold. I mean, gold's been down, you know, twenty-two dollars today, which is certainly an outlier event. This is the level that we were looking at, as you recall, uh, just two weeks ago. Uh, that would get down to somewhere between twelve twenty-five and this twelve twenty area, and you know, twelve twenty is still outstanding there. But we're now down more than one harmonic number. We're down more than $35, or we got down more than $40 from the high, so we're in that zone. And also, the time down in both of those moves is very similar. Whether it turns from here or not, you know, certainly remains to be seen, but we're not sure of that. Now, one of the questions that someone asked this morning uh, was, what will be the effect of the passing of the, the new Health Care Act? Uh, folks, I have no idea what that means. Honest to God, I don't. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, even when I hear them talk, I don't understand what they're talking about. Uh, I'm a technician. I look at the buys, or you know, when prices are going up, there's more buyers. When prices are going down, there's more sellers. And all I try to do is to match up the patterns. You know, to give me a spot where I think I've really got a good chance of making uh, a decision where I don't have to risk very much and to see if I'm able to actually come in and pick out something that would give me a pretty good chance of, uh, you know, getting getting something uh, going to the to the upside. Now, if we close below 40, I'm jumping around because I'm seeing questions. Um, if we close below that 4650 level in the uh, crude oil, this really is going to tell us that we're most heading down to the $42 a barrel level. That would be another expansion number, and we'd be down at the 78.6 uh, on the daily. So those are the ones that we're, that we're keeping an eye on. 
Uh, we've got an, about one minute till the next break. When we come back from the next break, I'll start with the stock market stuff. But I do want to keep reiterating that we are over some really, really major cycle stuff here in the grains, folks, with, uh, you know, all of them, corn, wheat, and beans. Uh, we have mercury uh, starting direct today, and then we go into the full moon early next week. All of these things will be very, very powerful for the, uh, you know, the contracts for gold, silver, uh, gold, and soybeans. And uh, also wheat. And wheat is acting very well. Uh, soybeans are acting quite well. O soybean oil has been the leader. Uh, but they're all, they're all set up to go. Whether they go or not, you know, remains to be seen. But if you start to see strength next week, boy, get long. Because this thing's got, it's got, it's got potential legs to really have, you know, one heck of a move. Uh, before we come to the next break, I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, what we've been looking at here in heating oil along with the uh, crude oil that it's still been in a move uh, where we could get down another 15 cents in heating oil without too much trouble at all. So that's why this level at 46.50 in the uh, spot crude oil is so very important. We'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I've been asked to expand on this comment that I just made about the grains being over this uh, major cycle stuff. I'm, you know, I, I don't know all the answers to the astrology stuff. By you know, that's the understatement of the year. But I, I know I know bits and pieces of it. And when you try to put it together, you know, sometimes it makes more sense when you just look at the patterns. If we take a look at December corn, we've been in the same trading range, folks, here for seven months. And now we're coming into the growing season. Uh, we're planting the crops now. And believe me, I've been doing this for six decades, and I've never seen a, a year where we don't have at least one or two crop scares. Right now it's water. You know, in July it could be heat, but uh, we don't know. But if you'll notice here, this trading range that we've had in corn between the 395 level and the 378 level has been going on for well over uh, seven weeks. So... Uh, I am thinking that if this breaks out to the upside after the culmination of these cycles that we're looking at here between now and early next week, then that would be telling me that we're most probably getting ready for a move uh, to the upside. Remember, we had a 50-cent move in wheat after it made new lows of the year. It stayed there, made a new low in the year by three cents, which we were, we were certainly, you know, warning you folks that this was not how markets go down, that that's how they make bottoms. And, of course, it came in right at the new moon one day later, and it rallied 50 cents, and it stopped exactly at the 61% retracement at the uh, 461 level. So if we can get July wheat above 462, that would be the first indication that it has a possibility of moving to the upside. I usually don't spend this much time here at the show, you know, talking about the grains, but when the question came up, I did want to try to answer it to the best of my ability. And believe me, the astrology stuff that I look at is, you know, far from perfect, but it does have some very good, you know, spots, you know, to, uh, to look at as far as whether you think they're going to be either um, up to on the upside or downside, and remember that you know there's a lot of uh, you know the there's a lot of what we call uh, bullishness, uh, excuse me, bearishness in the grains because we have such big supplies. We got a caller from um, Springfield, Missouri. Bill, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you? What yeah. can I help you with? Uh, we're about to get drowned here. We've got too much rain, but I had a yeah. question on nuggets. Sure. On Nuggets, uh, we've got on the daily chart a gap at uh, the high 2568, I believe it was. Yes. Will that be filled, do you think? Uh, oh, I think so. You know, the, most of the gaps on, on these things are filled, but that Nugget, I believe, is a triple weighted ETF, correct? Yes, sir. So that I don't uh, I don't really know about ETS very well, but use most gaps are you know are filled. But with these triple weighted things, uh, I really I couldn't answer that question, Bill. I wish I could, but I but I, I can't. Uh, yeah, it's uh, December twenty third, uh, two thousand sixteen, and yeah. uh, there's two gaps actually. There's uh, another that twenty eight sixteen uh, twenty five. Well, 68, yeah. Wow. Well, all right, sir. I appreciate your good help. Enjoy hey, it. listen, I have, a, I have a story about Springfield, Missouri I think you might like. In 1963, my good buddy and I went over there for a gun show, and we bought a two. They were having a sale. Uh, the uh, Shotgun News was having a sale there at the show there in Springfield, and I bought a, and my buddy bought, we each bought a uh, Thompson submachine gun, 1934, issued by the, by the U.S. Treasury. And uh, I paid uh, I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for it. Back in those days, you didn't have to have a license for automatic weapons or something like that. And I held yeah. that thing I held that thing for well over thirty years, and I sold it for five grand. And back in oh, it must have been eighty. Let me see. No, I held it held it about twenty five years. And my buddy John, he still has his, and he has yeah. a you know he has a firearms license for automatic weapons. He's one of the largest dealers for automatic weapons, and uh, he said it's worth about twenty five thousand dollars now. So wow, well, those, that's, that's my that's story about good. Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, well, that's better than trading gold, isn't it? Uh, oh, boy, I think so, unless you're on the short side of gold, that's for sure. Hey, listen, thanks for calling in, Bill. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, be, just be patient. You'll dry out down there.
if I live long enough. <laughs> oh, you will, of course. All right, folks, let's take a look here uh, at the euro. Uh, we're coming into some really interesting spots here. Uh, we'll pull this up and let you take a look at it. You'll notice here that, uh, wow, look at these cattle. They're gapping up another 340 points. This is really something. Holy moly guacamole. This is really a move in cattle. That means what goes up must come down, but boy, you certainly can't stand in front of it. Now, if you'll take a look here at the um, euro, we've been waiting for this to get up here to the 110 level. Uh, we've been up to the 109.40 level again. Uh, whether we're going to pop through here very quickly, I'm not sure, but uh, these cycles that we're looking at are coming due, so we'll keep a close eye on this uh, in the euro. This is equivalent to that dollar index down around 97 that we've been watching very, very closely. That's another one that's, it appears that it's ready to get down to that level one more time. And that's what we're really trying to, uh, you know, watch with a great deal of, of anticipa anticipation because that's got a really good chance here. You'll see here that we've had such a divergence between the dollar index and the, uh, hold on one second, uh, dollar index. There we go. And you see that we should be coming down to this 97.75 uh, to 97.50 level. That that will get the euro to the 110 level if we get that. Remember, folks, Sunday night is the uh, the big uh, thing in France where they're going to have the uh, election, and those are the ones that we will uh, be watching, you know, very very closely. Of course, along with the rest of the world. And Sunday night, of course, we're going to see some rocking and rolling just like we did, you know, back on the 28th when we had the first part of the election and stuff. And that's, uh, you know, that's not pretty good. Yes, Terry, the reason why that Springfield thing was going on is because there was a U.S. Army uh, barracks there. And uh, we, uh, you know, they just, they we were, you know, well, those were old days. I don't want to get talking. A lot of people don't like guns, but I, uh, I happen to. I don't have many guns anymore. You know, I used to have a lot of them, but I was a collector. I didn't do much other than that. I never. I don't. I never. Haven't gone hunting since I was about 13 years old. I didn't like killing things. So, um, okay, let's get back to the regular market here. Anyway, my old, my only comment is, guns don't kill people. People kill people. So that's the the main main thing to keep an eye on as we're looking at some of these things. We're getting the Nasdaq down near these lows. Uh, this has got a ABCD a, structure that measures down to about 55, uh, 5580. Uh, if you're going to be looking at that, at S, uh, the S&P here, uh, that is, I still think we're heading down to the at least 2369 level uh, in the S&P and possibly lower. Now, there, there's going to be a lot of commotion today because of the vote on uh, the uh, Health Care Act. And whether that's going to mean much or not, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But we'll we'll watch it as we as we go through day by day and see how it's going to react. But there's going to be a lot of a lot of things happening over the weekend, folks, because we do have Mercury Direct in here, and we got this, uh, you know, another uh, full moon come, coming up here. Super. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, folks, the uh, next one we're going to take a look at here is this uh, NASDAQ, because this is where we were getting this number for the S&P that we said around uh, 2369. If we take a look here at the NASDAQ, what's happened is that you can see that we have a expansion coming down here to uh, 5585. That's only 20 points from where we are now, and we've moved uh, 20 points uh, in the last uh, 15 minutes. So there's a possibility of that. We did take out the lows of May 3rd, uh, which is that have held so far, but we'll wait to see what is uh, going. Okay, someone uh, the uh, someone's asked a question about whether. Uh, June cattle are trading. I can't really tell right now because I don't. Yes, I can. If you give me one second, I'll make a quick call into uh, Rich Anderson and we'll take a quick look at it. Uh, June cattle are not trading. They are limit bid at 134.55. And the way you can tell that up, oh, it just start. Nope, it's still not trading. It's it's limit bid at 134.55. There are many more buyers than there are sellers. This is the third day that we've had limit up moves. Uh, in these uh, little puppies, so uh, keep in mind that uh, these things can really move once they get moving. So just keep in mind that uh, this is not for the faint of heart. The reason why I bring this up in here, folks, is it's a very unusual to see cattle go limit up, and we're three days limit up right now. So uh, th what happens is the market gaps up, and there's just no sellers in there. And the, the main reason is, folks, that the open interest is dropping. There's these is, This is a short-covering rally in the cattle market, and it's going to end very, very badly. How do you trade that? You know, give me a break. I don't know. The only way you have to do is to wait to see some type of a pattern, and there's nothing here. This thing has gone, you know, way beyond any numbers. Once it went above, uh, I believe, 124 in cattle, you know, that is about us. Uh, that was it. You know, it's back into the, you know, the stratosphere. It's like when silver went from 30 to, to 54 back in 1980. You don't know where it's going to go. So you can't stand in front of it. And li limit ups do lead to limit downs. You're absolutely correct. Uh, I don't know if you folks remember this or not, but the main record for the number of limit days up in a move is uh, silver. We had 22 limit days up. As I recall, back in 1980, and this was followed by, I think, 18 days limit down. So uh, remember, th these these straight-up flagpole moves that you see are outlier events. They are very, 
very rare. And so don't uh, don't get involved with them unless you you want to see your heart rate uh, increase dramatically or even get it to stop. So watch that very closely. That's it. All right, let's move on to the next question that we had uh, overnight, and that was uh, on astrology. Uh, how did I get started? I've been through this so many times before, but I, I basically it was Dr. Ruth Miller. You know, she told me you know that soybeans were going to close at such and such a price. Uh, six weeks ahead of time, and when it closed within a penny of that, uh, I called her up, and uh, you know, from there history went on. By the way, folks, I have been all, uh, asked to give a speech over uh, across the pond here pretty soon, uh, just about my life and trading and, and my association with uh, Commodity Corporation and Amos Hostetter, and uh, so far it's going pretty well. But what I might do is to do a special webinar. Uh, to repeat that, and maybe if we can get it recorded, we could just make it a recording. But uh, it was that's that's what they had an interest in is just to you know what I learned and how I got there and the people that I met along the way and some of the associations and you know as you get older you know not too much of that is happening. We I was just speaking to my good friend John Hill who was my mentor who just uh, turned 90 trading every day just like uh, I am and we were we were laughing that we were really lucky enough you know to be doing this uh, all these years because uh, your health as long as your health permits you're doing okay okay we got the market moving pretty good so far the Dow's not doing very much it's only down about uh, 16 points uh, the Nasdaq's uh, down just a couple after being up quite a bit it did take out those lows and held so far but uh, not too much uh, else is going on. We still have, you know, the gold is under, uh, you know, a great deal of, uh, of uh, down $22 uh, and dropping. And so it's going to be a little bit more than that. Uh, silver uh, has broken through the magic uh, 786 level. So that... Uh, that didn't work, so uh, it looks like we're going to go a whole lot lower in both gold and silver from these levels. So just keep in mind that when they go, they go very, very quickly. So uh, that's what we'll watch here. But we did get below the, the – we're 10 cents below the silver point that we were looking at, which was 16.34. Uh, we just hit 16.23. So to me, that means we are going to be – you know, heading down, uh, you know, to a much lower level. So that's uh, what we're watching here right now. The main thing is today is that we took out those lows in the NASDAQ at the 506. There was no selling there. And whether this is going to be anything or not of any consequence, you know, we'll have to give it a little bit more time to see if that's going to be the case. Important support at 12, uh, 23, uh, 78 in the uh, S&P, if that breaks, then you'll be looking at something uh, a lot more sinister to the downside. So uh, keep keep that in mind. All righty, move on. One question someone just asked is how, why do I feel so comf comfortable about this silver at the 1334 level? Well, I, I, I know that these numbers are not perfect, but many times they are. I was assuming the way that it was acting, that it was going to act like it was going to hold, and it didn't. You can see the same thing in crude oil. Once it went below 4880, you know, there, there was nothing else there. All, all the support is gone. So that's why you know, you don't have to risk very much. And, you know, you might be wrong, but those are the ones that you uh, you want to keep an eye on. But basically, that's uh, that's the bottom line. So just one thing after another, you know, you just got to decide what you want to trade and how much you're going to risk. It's how much you risk, not how much you're going to, uh, to look at. We're very, very close to this 1220 level in the gold. That would have it down about uh, $25 on the day. And I'm still not going to be buying there because, uh, you know, we went through those numbers. And so you just have to wait and see, you know, what's going to happen uh, to the next uh, to the next group of numbers as, as they come up. So that's primarily what we're watching here uh, early this morning. We've got a lot of pressure across these markets, folks, with crude oil and even Treasury bonds. Look at Treasury bonds, folks. They're down uh, another full handle. You know, we hit that 382 retracement the other day at the 153.07 level. And we're now down at uh, $2,500 from that level. That's a that's a big move. So uh, that's something that you want to just, you want to keep in mind that these markets you know do move uh, quite a bit. So pay attention. They're all they change quickly.
And believe me, we have Mercury direct today. And that's a big cycle bottom, uh, usually, or a cycle top. So these are things that we want to keep in mind as we as we look at some of these things going through uh, the rest of the day. Okay, next question that someone asked me was about the British pound. What will happen to the British pound? And we'll take a quick look at it here. As you remember, uh, just the other day, we were talking about the British pound completing this big ABCD pattern up in this 129 and change level. Uh, so far, that's been spot on uh, what it's been doing. Uh, you know, it's uh, still right within that same level, but it's uh, very, very close uh, to where it's supposed to be. So keep an eye. Now, we're starting to accelerate to the downside a little bit here in the stock. So pay attention here because if we get below the uh, 56 even in the uh, NASDAQ, we're heading lower, 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I wanted to uh, remind you, folks, that... Um, 
We had uh, Kevin Murphy here uh, on the air on Monday, and he was talking to us about all the work that he had done uh, through the works of Bill Ehrman, and he was looking for a top to come in uh, on either Monday or Tuesday. The NASDAQ topped on Tuesday, and um, it really is a question of whether he was right or not, but so far it's you know going in that direction. We just made new lows on the day. Uh, in the NASDAQ, that sets up the next objective, which is, you know, 20 points lower. Remember, we had two days in this NASDAQ where it went 60 points uh, in one day. So uh, on the downside, because fear is a greater emotion than greed, don't be surprised to see the NASDAQ down more than 100. And, uh, you know, we'll, be, we'll be wait and see. Someone just asked us whether this will be uh, Kevin uh, Murphy's uh, launching point. Folks, I don't know, but it was a, an interesting spot to look at. But he does a great deal of work with numbers. So we'll see if that's going to be the case. But, you know, these markets can turn on a dime and, you know, go up uh, even more. So basically, well, we're going to have Kevin back on again, especially if this thing continues to work like And even if it doesn't, because he does some great work. And we all make mistakes. Give me a break. I mean, you know, this, someone that doesn't make mistakes doesn't trade. I can tell you that. But that's it. No, he only works on the stocks, folks. He doesn't do anything with gold or the euro or anything like that. That doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, factor into what he's doing. So uh, watch it uh, very very closely. And uh, but you know these, these lunar things do help. It was happened to be the same time that uh, was on the the new moon, which uh, was occurring right there. You know um, uh, it's coming up well on the 27th, I believe, and then we've got that full moon coming in uh, pretty soon here next week. So. Uh, we'll watch it very, very closely. Okay, I still believe that the best trade of the month will be buying the VIX. Uh, you know, that's just my, the way I look at it. You know, we're down here near new lows all the time. Nobody is afraid, and that's usually when the VIX index raises its hand. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.